breakthrough research at Oregon State University that could help in the fight against chemical weapons. As KCI 9 News reporter Rhoda Krauss shows us, researchers have found a way to kill chemicals before they contact our skin, paving the way for special clothing and masks. It's hard to watch what's happening in this footage from Syria is caused by the deadly effects of chemical weapons, here using gases to target the nervous system. The common characteristic every nerve gas has is it has a bond between a phosphorus and a fluorine. So when this contacts moisture, like skin or lungs, when it's breathed in, um, it converts to hydrofluoric acid. Something OSU chemist May Nyman says is extremely dangerous. But what if there was a way to protect yourself from the gas by the type of fabric or mask you're wearing? Polyoxoniobates is what they're called. We take a spatula full of niobium oxide and, and this water is hot and we add niobium oxide it dissolves, the water evaporates, and this is the end result. Over time, what grows are these beautiful crystals. Polyoxoniobate, a compound Nyman says, deactivates nerve gas when it comes in contact with it. It replaces that PF bond with a P hydroxide bond. A breakthrough discovery, something she says could be used in military or civilian clothing and masks. It can do that reaction there, and therefore, when the nerve gas reaches your skin or your lungs, it's no longer dangerous. It's been inactivated. So this is the small angle x-ray scattering machine, and we put our solution sample in this tiny capillary. Nyman's working with a graduate student now to figure out how to make the best material they can. Researchers say they hope to have a prototype fabric within the next year. It's, you know, just incorporated into protective clothing that they wear every day, it can save lives. A motivation chemists say could really make a difference. In Corvallis, Rhoda Krauss, KEZI, 9 News.